I have this Santa face that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start by painting his entire face white. This is Snow Owl by Wise Owl. I'm going to paint everything, including the nose and the beard. We are going to have a kit available for this project, so be sure to check it out at chocolateofancy.com if you're interested. So you're going to continue to paint the whole face, including the mustache. Once done, I'm going to come over to the pom-pom on his hat, and then I'm going to come back with a little heavy bit of paint, and I'm going to do this dabbing motion to get this raised look on his pom-pom. And then I'm going to carry the white into the rim of his hat, and you're going to do that same technique once it's all white to get that raised look to give texture to the fur on his hat and the pom-pom. I'm just taking the side of my brush and loading up on a little heavy paint and just doing this stipple motion. Now I'm going back into the beard and the mustache again with heavy paint and I'm creating this almost like a scalloped brush stroke that leaves the impression of my stroke into the beard and the mustache. I'm gonna go in one direction on the one side and then I'm gonna go in the opposite direction on the other side. Now, the white is still wet, so I'm going in with just a very little bit of Republic Red on the nose and adding some rosy cheeks. Then I'm going back in with some Snow Owl to kind of blend it in. This looks a little animated, but that's okay. It's kind of the look we want. It's Santa. I think he is an animated creature. And then I'm going to go in with some Republic Red and finish off his hat. Now I'm taking a different brush, it's more like a pointed brush, and I'm creating a different stroke. It's just more like a, a heavy load with just some stripey movements to finish off his beard. Now that's completely dry, and I'm taking a chip brush and I'm dusting it with black. Guys, you do not have to do this step. I know some of you is like the clean white Santa. I can't help it, I like things grungy, so forgive me. I did overdo the black. But just hang on. In the end, I'm going to show you how you're going to correct that if you go too heavy on your black. I just did dots for the eyes and a quick brow for his face. So we'll go back to the black on the face in the end when I know my paint is dry. So I found these napkins at Walmart. And I have this board that is 12 inches by 5 and a half inches. And I'm just giving it a quick coat of Snow Owl. I'm not worrying about full coverage. Lightening up my board and painting it in white just helps my decoupage of my napkin stay true to color. This is a good thing to remember when you're decoupaging tissue paper or any item of that nature. Uh, the lighter color does keep everything true to color, makes your colors nice and bright. So once that dried, I gave it a quick sanding. And I'm gonna take my napkin and take the first layer off. So now if you wanted to make two Santas, I would cut your napkin now. I didn't do that just because, I don't know, I wasn't thinking of it, but um, I wasn't gonna make two anyway. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. And I'm taking Wise Owl one hour enamel to one half and laying it down. I like to do things in sections and then I'm going to the other half of my napkin. You can use Mod Podge. Then I go in with some Saran Wrap. Now there's a barrier so I can really work these wrinkles out. And I'm taking my brayer 
and just doing um, a good roll to make sure everything's adhered and it does take some additional wrinkles out. And then I'm covering everything with my one hour enamel. You can use one hour enamel, you can use our varnish, uh, or you can use Mod Podge. And I'm gonna put that aside to dry. Once dry, I'm gonna take some sandpaper and I'm just rubbing right on that edge of that corner to remove my excess napkin. And it comes off pretty easily. So before we go any further, I need to put a hanger on the back. You can find uh, picture hangers at the Dollar Tree, um, but I'm just gonna take a piece of jute and glue it down using a popsicle stick. And this is just a quick homemade hanger for the back of your lighter weight projects. It works great, I do it all the time. So it's just a popsicle stick and jute. You know, but if you're gonna give this as a gift, you may wanna go pick up a hanger from either the Dollar General or the Dollar Tree. They're pretty inexpensive there. I always keep a pack on handy. And then we're gonna add our Santa head. And remember, this kit can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. Now, at this point, you may wanna go in and fix your, your beard if you put too much black on. I'm gonna do it in a minute. Now's probably a good time to do it. Um, but I just added some hot, uh, so Elmer's wood glue and some hot glue just to hold it in place. And now I'm just grabbing a bow because I want to take care of this little hole at the top of his head that was there from the previous hanger. And just adding it to the top there cover that hole and to fix the beard i'm just dusting some snow owl on top of the black and there you go i hope you enjoy this video for other tutorials go check us out on youtube this kit is available at chalkitafancy.com for other paint products brushes tissue paper or transfers chalkitafancy.com thank you so much